Let's go here in uh, Mombasa County 001 and uh, uh, in a few uh, minutes, uh, in the next like uh, 10, 15 minutes, we should be expecting uh, uh, the former Prime Minister Raila Odinga to be arriving here at these grounds uh, and uh, his arrival will mark the beginning of this uh, meeting. Already there are a number of governors who have already arrived here and uh, so to speak, uh, conspicuously actually uh, to speak there is, I can confirm that uh, uh, those uh, the members of parliament uh, who support uh, the deputy president's uh, uh, 2022 presidential ambitions are already here, led by the majority leader of uh, the Senate, uh, that is uh, uh, Kipchumba Murkomen. Uh, we already have uh, Moses Kuria, already, uh, is already here. Uh, we also already have uh, the Malindi member of parliament, Aisha Jumwa. And uh, these members been here, it is a signal that, uh, yes, uh, they are already uh, and, uh, upbeat uh, to ensure that they join other members of parliament uh, in their push to sell the Building Bridges Initiative report. Remember that uh, uh, initially these members were against uh, these uh, forums uh, and uh, their uh, initial uh, stand was that uh, uh, the money was uh, been the money that is being spent uh, by uh, the county government and of course uh, the national government in terms of trying to sensitize Kenyans in regards to this report and their allegations was that uh, money is being misused and there's no need of uh, trying to uh, popularize these uh, uh, reports since uh, they are all in agreement that uh, these reports uh, uh, actually uh, 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 favors each and every side. And uh, their presence here uh, actually goes ahead to ensure or to, 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 to verify that, uh, yes, they are ready to face off uh, their opponents and uh, in case the, any, any differences in regards to what is being proposed in uh, that report, then uh, uh, they will actually be ready to air that. Uh, from, uh, apart from uh, the members of parliament uh, affiliated to the deputy president who have arrived, we are not yet uh, sure whether the deputy president will be coming to this function. But what we can confirm is that uh, the former prime minister, Raila Odinga, who has been uh, attending these uh, forums uh, uh, from Kisi, Kakamega, and now in uh, uh, Mombasa, that is uh, 001, uh, Mombasa County, and uh, th this goes to show that, uh, yes, they are ready to continue popularizing uh, uh, these uh, reports. And remember that uh, there has been uh, different views uh, from uh, different uh, uh, political players, uh, others stating that, uh, yes, uh, they would like uh, this report uh, to reach to the grassroots level. And uh, the question that many have been asking is, yes, they are popularizing this uh, report, but uh, have all Kenyans gotten uh, a copy? of uh, this uh, document to read. And uh, there are so many issues, uh, remember, from the nine-point agenda, apart from uh, the executive issues. There are issues to do with corruption, issues to do with inclusivity, issues to do with uh, bringing Kenyans together. And uh, the issue has been, uh, well, have Kenyans at the grassroots level really uh, gotten copies of these uh, reports? Have they read this report? Or they are just waiting for their leaders uh, to read the report and tell them the next uh, way to go? But of course, uh, this is a political process and uh, we can't rule out uh, politicians uh, are being at the forefront of uh, leading uh, all these, uh, uh, the, the process itself. Uh, in, in a few minutes, we'll be expecting that uh, the former Prime Minister and the ODM party leader, Raila Odinga, will be arriving here. Uh, we also expect that uh, the Waipa party leader, uh, that is uh, Kalonzo Musyoka, uh, and uh, who has not attended any of these uh, meetings. Remember that uh, he missed the uh, the Kisi uh, meeting, he missed the Kaka Mega meeting, but uh, he has decided to attend today's meeting. That is uh, 
uh, in uh, Mombasa County. And uh, we, 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 let, let, let's see uh, how uh, or what, the, what some of the issues that uh, he will be telling us. And uh, I'm with my colleague uh, Tobias Chanji, uh, who is, uh, of course, uh, not very new to po the politics of uh, the coastal region. But uh, Chanji, coming to the coastal region and uh, the politics of the coastal region, we know that uh, uh, Mvuria, that is Salim Mvuria, the governor of Kwale, uh, was not uh, uh, involved in the planning of uh, these meetings. Maybe, do we expect him to attend today's meeting? Uh, well, Tairu, from the, some of the MPs that we've been able to speak with, they say Mvuria, there's no ending, any indication now that Kwale governor Salim Mvuria uh, might be coming to this meeting. We saw yesterday during that delegation meeting at Wild Waters Complex uh, where the, the supposedly his seat, uh, the person that sat there was the Kuala Women Representative uh, Zuleika Hassan. Uh, so far, an indication of only five governors in the entire of the six uh, coastal counties uh, that have shown interest and that might be appearing here. And from what transpired yesterday, there are so many issues uh, that have uh, that the coast region people want addressed in the BBI. Uh, they've been saying that they've been marginalized for a very long time. Of course, one of them being the issue of land injustice uh, that they want it to be addressed uh, the CIC, uh, the, the, the BBI report. Uh, other issues include uh, the industries that have been there for a very long time but for now collapsed. For example, the industry of cashew nut, uh, the industry of coconut, the industry of pizza, we have sugar cane, uh, among others. Politically, uh, most leaders have been saying that they want to have a rotational presidency uh, so that at one time someone from the coast region of Michigan uh, might also make it to the top seat uh, of the nation. So these are just some of the proposals that were made yesterday uh, during that meeting that prepared ground uh, for this day's event. Uh, so we're just hoping that uh, maybe someone uh, from the, the BBI secretariat maybe, will, they'll, as they had promised earlier on uh, through their communique that they send uh, to media houses, uh, they'll be around here to just receive some uh, of these resolutions. I uh, remember the coast region for a very long time. Uh, no, historically, they've been uh, recognized nationally by producing uh, some of the leaders who are agitating around uh, Majimbo and for a very long time. They've also been in support of devolution. And for them, it will not be devolution if some of these injustices uh, will continue. Uh, so that's uh, what we're just waiting for here, uh, waiting for the party leader that's Reloadinga maybe to make entry.